The images in this video were developed and scanned by my go-to film lab of two plus years now, Speedy ePhoto. They offer same day delivery time on C41 film and high quality processing and scanning of color, black and white, and slide. Their information is listed in the description below. There are two film stocks that I have been waiting oh so patiently for. The first is yet to come and that is a 1600 speed color film. Will we ever see the day? I do not know. But the second has just arrived thanks to Cinestill. That is black and white, double X in medium format. I had shot it quite a bit in 35 mil and it was far and away my favorite black and white film stock. As you guys know, I'm more of a color photographer, but god damn, when I got my results, from black and white double X the first time I was blown away and ever since I've been patiently waiting for it to come out in 120 and as soon as I heard the announcement I had to pick up a few rolls and to test out this film stock for the very first time I thought it'd be a great kind of combination to link up with my buddy who's a fantastic skateboarder go to a DIY skate park under an overpass in Tacoma Washington do some flash photography, mess around with the Bronica SQ, and some Cinestill black and white double X. So in this video, we're going to do just that. Hope you guys enjoy. But like I say, man, always said it. It's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. Ain't nothing changed with the weather. The dangling carrot that hang from the rear view uh -huh. Your dreams in the past ain't nowhere near you uh -huh. Backseat drivers got nothing but two cents Shotgun riders too biased, they all liars I should get an A for effort, I'm too tired But I'm never giving up, that's why I'm kinda admired Role model, like it or not, I gotta play it Sugarcoat the rhyme sometimes, but still say it I decided to rock the Bronica SQ for this series of images for a few reasons First of all, the leaf shutter glass It allows me to sync the flash at any shutter speed So if I want a little bit of motion blur in the pictures I can drop it down to 1 30th still pop the flash off there or if I want to freeze the action freeze Cooper while he's skating I can crank it up to 1 250th or 1 500th and still shoot flash at all those shutter speeds so that's an absolute must and then also the square format I felt like it would just lend itself nicely to the environment we were in and to just skateboarding images in general and then I also have a 65 mil lens for the Bronica SQ which is about a 35 mil equivalent I felt like that wider uh, focal length would be best suited for this series of pictures. Did it the same. Uh -huh. In hindsight, I'm the only one to blame. Uh -huh. I ain't picky, I'm just real specific. I want nothing less than terrific. I know y'all get it. I'm aggressive, so our style is clashing. Killer instinct, and I play with passion. I'd rather be hated for being one of the realest than get a lot of love for these overrated appearance. I can stand on skill alone, but I'm a package deal. I can write the whole song and rap for real. I got my head in the cloud with a Pun intended. I don't need to see nobody. I don't want no visits. Introverted, I just flirt with the music. Small circles, how I choose it. Stay away from squares. They the one that look like a L7. I've been doing this since I was 11. And the shit gets real. Jump off, I'm winning. I still love you though. Know. Shout out to the women. Watch you was cool, they was acting wild. Walk in, leave drunk, it was packed for hour. Belligerent students, man, the shit got messy. Remind me of my first show I did at the Red Sea. I ain't had no DJ. Briefly want to jump over to Lightroom and show you guys the latitude that this film stock has. This was one of the flash images that I took. I shot it at like 130th, I think. And you can see that there's Right off the bat, not a ton of details, a little bit underexposed. Um, the highlights were also kind of poking through the underpass here from the sky, but the shadows are, are really, really dark. I was able to bring a lot of this information back, which is pretty impressive. Um, you can crank the shadows up and retain a lot of the detail that you couldn't previously see. 
You can crank the exposure up as well, continue to get some more detail. Um, there's just a lot of room to play with these pictures, which is super nice. And it can also tone the highlights down. You can see a lot of that info is retained in the highlights. So that is pretty impressive. And I just love the grain structure. Um, it's very gritty and it's got a lot of character to it. And that's pretty cool for a 200 speed film, in my opinion. Well, all I can really say is thank you, Cinestill, for bringing black and white double X to medium format. This was one of those shoots where I got the scans back and I was just excited. You know, it made me feel like I was just starting film again. And you remember those first scans you get back and you just get all giddy and excited about it. And I hadn't felt that in a long time. And I definitely felt that with these pictures, just the combination of the skate, uh, the skateboarding, the environment, the actual skate park we were at, you know, ha having it be under an overpass and, you know, pairing all those things with double X and having that punchy contrasty film stock to capture these images on it was it all lined up perfectly in my opinion um, and then also utilizing the flash and the Bronica these are some of my favorite pictures that I've taken recently um, looking to hopefully get a few big prints of a couple of these pictures because I'm really really stoked on them so yeah, my first experience shooting uh, black and white double X in medium format was an absolute joy and it will no doubt be my go-to black and white film stock in both 35 and medium format moving forward. Um, it's a little bit on the pricier side, I guess, compared to some other black and whites, but for me, it's 100% worth it. The only other time I'll shoot anything else, I think, is if I need a higher speed film and I'll probably shoot Delta 3200, you know, if I need something. Um, it's a little bit faster but yeah sin is still black and white you know if you get the opportunity to pick some up i'd highly recommend doing so it's a blast to shoot and i'd also want to give a quick shout out to my buddy cooper <coughs> that was the skateboarder in this video he's been my best friend for a long time now and he rips let me tell you whatever you throw a board under his feet he's gonna fucking kill it so <laughs> it's always fun linking up with him watching him do his thing I did a little write-up on my website. Uh, you can go check it out, brayhunsker.com. It's under the Featured tab, and it kind of just you know shows all the images from this day and walks you through what went down and kind of the settings that I used on my camera and my thought process behind the picture. So if you want to go check that out, please do so. There's a little bio kind of thing about Cooper as well over there. So, yeah, go uh, pick up some Cinestill Black and White Double X. Go follow Cooper and enjoy the rest of your day. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace. This is what I do every time I go skate. You uh, take a shot of water in a salt glass, electrolytes. <laughs>